Hi. This is a question of CAT 2023, slot 3. It's an extremely tough question. I think that this was one of the toughest questions of this particular slot. Uh, Rahul, Rakshita and Gurmeet working together would have taken more than 7 days to finish the job. That means the total number of days are not given. On the other hand, Rahul and Gurmeet working together would have taken less than 15 days. Again, the total days are not mentioned here. So it would not be possible for me to make an equation here. However, they all work together for 6 days, followed by Rakshita who worked alone for 3 more days to finish the job. This can be framed in the form of an equation, but again, the efficiency of these three people is not known to me. If Rakshita had worked alone on the job, then the number of days she would have taken to finish the job cannot be 17, 21, 16 or 20. Now look at this, the question is about Rakshita. So let's make a group of Rahul and Gurmeet here, because they are not working alone here. Even in the first statement, it's given that all three of them working together would have taken more than seven days. And the second pair is of Rahul and Gurmeet. And in the final statement, Rahul, Gurmeet and Rakshita have worked together. And after that, Rakshita will work for three more days to finish the job. So let's make a pair of Rahul, Rahul and Gurmeet here. Let's say Rahul and Gurmeet together can do A units per day. So I know that they would have taken more than seven days to finish the job. So can we say the total work should have been greater than, greater than, sorry, it's greater than seven A units because they would have taken more than seven days. Next line says that on the other hand, Rahul, Gurmeet, all three of them, sorry, it's about all three of them. So here I can say that Rahul and Gurmeet working together would have taken less than 15 days. So if they are working together, their one day's work is A units. So their 15 days work will become 15 A. But I know that they would have taken less than 15 days. So my total work has to be less than 15 A. Because they will be working for less than 15 days. Then let's assume that Rakshita can do B units per day. And it's given that if they, all three of them work together, they would have taken more than 7 days. What is a one day's work? Let's say A plus B. When you multiply it by 7, you get 7 times of A plus B. And you know that they would have taken 7 days to finish. They would have taken more than 7 days. That means my total work has to be more than this. 7 times of A plus B. Because they won't be able to finish the work in 7 days. This is their collective work of 7 days only. Fine. What's the last information? However, they all work together for 6 days. All three of them will be working for six days, followed by Rakshita, who worked alone for three more days. So effectively, I can say that Rahul and Gurmeet will be working for six days. So their work will become six A. And Rakshita will be working for six days plus three. That is nine. So the contribution of Rakshita will become nine B. Now I can frame an equation here. This should be the total work. I've got two inequalities here. This is first inequality. This is second inequality and this is the equation. Now, what I can do here, I know that total work has to be less than 15A. And the value of total work is how much? 6A plus 9B. So let's put 6A plus 9B here, which has to be less than what? 15A. 6 comes on this side. It gives you 9B less than 9A. That means A has to be greater than B. This is the first information which I, which I can infer from here. I also know that 7 times of A plus B, which is 7A plus 7B, is less than total task, which is equal to 6A plus 9B. Now this shows that when 6A comes on this side, you get A here. 7B goes on that side, you get 2B here. That means A is less than 2B. Now here, I am saying that A is greater than B. And here, I am saying that A is less than 2B. That is A should lie between B and 2B. Yes or no? So A lies between B and 2B. And what was A? It was a work done by Rahul and Gurmeet together in one day. And what is B? It's a work done by Rakshita in one day. That is B units. How do we relate it? How do we relate this one?
if you look at the extremes here, the value of A has to be greater than B and less than 2B. Let's do one thing. Let's try to find out the total work here. Now, what are the extremes here? A should be greater than B. Let's put it equal to B. When you put A equal to B here, this will become 6 into B plus 9 into B. That is 15B. Yes or no? But I know that A should be greater than B. So I can say that total work has to be greater than 15B. Even if you put it 2B, when you put 2B, A equal to 2B here, this becomes 6 into 2B, that is 12B plus 9. 12 plus 9 gives you what? 21. So the total work has to be what? Less than 21B. So it has to be greater than 15B and it has to be less than 21B. What if I say that the total work is 15B? So 15B work can be done by Rakshita in how many days? 15 days. And 21B of the work can be done by Rakshita in how many days? If, if she does B units per day, she'll take 21 days. But I know that my work is less than 21. That's why the number of days taken by Rakshita has to be less than 21, but more than 15. Now, let's look at the first option. 17 will do? Yes, because 17 lies between these two ranges. 21. 16 also lies between 15 and 21. 20 also lies between 15 and 21. What does not lie between 15 and 21? It's 21. So, that job cannot be finished in 21 days. It has to be less than 21. Fine. So, the answer becomes second option.